Hello to all you wonderful weirdos out there. Welcome back. Uh, I'm a random Darklink. This is uh, my specific playthrough experience of Final Fantasy VI, the Pixel Remaster. I'm trying to figure out and see like if this game is truly one of the best ever made. And so far, it's really it's starting to lean toward that, just because like you know this game for like what it's worth has you know really surprised me in a couple of areas. Um, it, it's it's trying to be a little bit more um oh dear <laughs> okay i'm gonna have to read that later but anyways yeah trying to figure out oh what the heck that chest in the back corner is the only one that's locked I wonder if there's a way to open it like back corner so this one oh no hyperus it's locked. Okay. Thief's bracer. Reflect ring. Thief's knife. Earring. 5,000 gil. Cool. Hmm. You know, I haven't really been inside Ma magic. I don't believe in that nonsense. <laughs> oh, cool. That's that's nice. Nars is a neutral city. We've taken no part in the war yet. We still are not spared from the Empire's aggression. Yeah, magic's real. I tell ya. Okay, so that one has an opposite. Okay. Oh, uh, what, bro? Figaro Castle can burrow through the sand all the way west to Kolingen. That's incredible! I guess it must be. The only thing that the Espers brought us is trouble with the Empire. Curse the day they dug up that freakish thing. Yeah, I'm I'm really confused by a lot of this. Okay, that's excuse me, interesting house design. The entrance is located on top of there, and so like, you know, down here where it normally should be, when it's like very much possible to do so it constructed like that I, I don't get it I don't get it I just don't get it um, anyways uh, I I'm not going to like think too much about Narche I'm going to be like bringing and all this with Locke Celis and Edgar I don't know if I changed it from other stuff uh, you know, I could give an earring. Uh, nah. I don't mind having the this sort of be the setup. There shouldn't be that strong enemies on this one. Okay, so it's just another dark wind and the leaf bunny. So yeah, this should be easy. It should be easy. This this party's configured enough to deal with a lot of these threats, so it shouldn't have to worry about this too much and we're already back to oh bro though I am curious as to like what's in the corner there because it is there there is a uh, dot here unless it's like oh it, it is it's just a chocobo stable okay I get it let me teach you how to ride Chocobo. Press the... Oh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm so glad I figured this. This is probably the weirdest theme of the Chocobos that I've heard so far. <laughs> cool. Anyways. Let's re-enter Figaro Castle. King Edgar, welcome home! Alright. I wonder if anything has, like, changed at all, because... Yeah. <sighs> Sabin should come back here with me one time. Ah, oh, so there's, like, unique things to say if you have different party members. I guess that adds to the replayability aspect. That's pretty neat. That's... that's pretty neat. Oh, god. Um, you know, 
If I'm leading with Edgar. Oh god, I can't believe I can't believe I'm gonna figure out if there's like little bit bits of dialogue here. Oh man. Oh dear god. I can't I can't believe oh my god that I I I swear when when the game is done over like whatever whatever happens like I'm gonna make sure this guy like stays fainted throughout like Whatever happens, just because I just. <laughs> Dear God. It's so bad. That is still so bad. I just. Oh, man. Wait, what the. I can't take money from the king! You have a family, don't you? Just be quiet and take it. Oh, wow. Okay. Also, that is a lot of Jill. Okay, so. Flash. Yes. Finally got the uh, drill back in. I, I could have, like, gotten that, you know, originally, but oh well. That's, that's interesting how that's working. All right. So who do I talk to to... I know, okay, we've broken off our alliance with the Empire, is there a way that I can... How do I, how do I exactly, like, you know, who exactly do I go to to, like, move this... Oh, you look different. Welcome home, King Edgar. Please take your time and relax within the castle. Yeah, um, about that. Who do I talk to to get this thing moving towards you-know-where? Yeah, how, how do I, how? Yeah, uh, you know anything? Nope, you know nothing, great. You know anything? Nope. Wait, what? I saw a girl blaze across the sky like she'd been shot out of a cannon. It looked like she was heading towards the mountains in the west. I, I realized that. I was just, apparently this, this castle can like transport us to where we need to go. I'm just trying to find out who exactly is responsible for that. If only you could have seen the look on Kepka's face as we sank into the sand. I mean, I have a pretty decent idea. Oh, I can't believe I'm going back in here. I can't believe I'm going back in here. Just, yeah, here we go. The Castellan Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time for them to make... Oh, my God. You're saying the exact same stupid thi Ah! is simply unbelievable. First the nurse, then me. The man hits on anything that moves. Uh, you need to get beyond the mountains? Well, this castle can't fly over them, but it can dive under them. Talk to the man in charge of the engine room. Yeah, uh, where do I find the... You are no help at all! Okay, so I have checked everywhere except this tower. So, the man in charge of the engine room, like... Ugh. Okay, um... Where in... Oh, there's the engine room. Where is the person in charge of the stinking engine room? Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh my goodness, I completely missed this portion of the stinking... Okay. Lots of orders to submerge this month. I can take you to the desk beyond the mountains if you'd like. Okay. So that's... I'm sorry, I can't let you down there. It's too dangerous. Um... Okay... Oh boy, okay, so this must be the dungeon. These good-for-nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery and worse. You best keep a safe distance. Hmm. Relax, my boys are just blowing off some steam. I'm sure King Edward will let us out here in no time. 
We're just small potatoes compared to the real threat looking out there. King Edgar knows that. Let me guess. Oh, stinking. I'm Lone Wolf the Pickpocket. Yeah, and you would be a pain in the butt if I let you out. I, I'm willing to bet. So, you're just going to stay put in there and I'm not going to do a thing. I'm ready to get going and just, you know, finally... Alright! Let's submerge the castle. <laughs> so, how is this going to work? How is this going to work? Oh! Well, ain't that, um... Ain't that neato. Here we are, Kalingan, have a safe trip. Uh, thank you. So they just don't have to alter the... Okay. So I'm assuming Koling... Oh. What the actual... And Sandstorm. Yikes! Okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Oh dear God! I am so glad I could just retreat back to the castle and go into this room that allows me just to rest. <sighs> okay, so how about let's not um do something rash and just. Finally get to Kolingan, the town itself. Um, a strange glowing creature flew right through here. Scared the living daylights out of me. It took off southward towards Gidor. Okay, so south from here. Cool. Uh, okay, um, can I? Oh boy. I saw a pretty light. It came here and everyone else was afraid of it, but I liked it. <laughs> what? Was that thing really a monster? It stopped right in front of my little girl. I could see it had gentle eyes. Okay. Oh no. What? I am serious. Okay. Oh, look, it's been a while. Ages even. Oh, that? Uh, worry not, worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> what? Um. It's a good thing I happened to perfect my herbal concoction right when she... <laughs> the girl hasn't aged a day and never will! <laughs> I had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Oh. My. God. Rachel. You're sure this, this stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> if there are a way to... Call her spirit back. A way to call her back, eh? You mean like that legendary treasure? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to reawaken her. <laughs> I... I... Failed her.
Look. I, I need to step back for a sec. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the hardest hitting things I think I've ever seen in just in a video game ever. Like I was I was just honestly not expecting that to oh my god. Oh my god. It's my dream to see an opera at the Opera House south of Gidor. What a handsome date of course with a handsome date of course. I get all dialed up, put on a say queen dress. Oh, good for you. Holy moly. Holy moly. Locke? Is that you? Have you stopped by Rachel's? <laughs> oh! A girl named Rachel used to live in that house up there. No one lives there anymore, though. Okay. Holy! No. Uh, 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 I. I couldn't protect her. Look, uh, what are we off? What, what are we off to find today? It, it's almost your. There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it! Locke, look out! Rachel! Rachel, are you awake? I... I can't remember anything. Wait, what? Get out of my house! It's your fault Rachel lost her memory! Wait, just let me talk to her! Please, just go away! I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. Rachel would be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's going to have to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. A year went by. When I finally returned... I found out that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Her memory had returned just before she died. <laughs> the last thing she said was... <laughs> I never should have left her side! I... I failed her! God. Oh God. Okay, I I've calmed down a little bit, but that was just um okay, thankful thank God I can't read that. Okay, nothing on the shelves. Obtained a licks Okay, that was that was a hidden one. Holy moly Oh goodness. That that thing I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. Looks Look like some kind of glowing monster. Oh. Well. My younger brother's a bit eccentric. Lives alone in north up north. Says he's going to build a coliseum or some such nonsense. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the amount of emotions that I'm having today is just wow. Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! 
we meet again. I can't lend you a hand. Just need enough to feed my dog. Say... 3,000 gel? Oh, yeah, you know what? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. That is honestly amazing. Okay, so... I'm going to go see if I can't head south a ways. Because uh, Gidor seems to be the... Uh, the destination we need to head towards, so I'm gonna see how far we can actually get going south by any means here. Oh, that's that's an unfortunate way to start with a bit of a back attack. Well, well thank you, Drill. Thank you, Drill, for existing. <laughs> I just, I just find that so hilarious, the drill. But yeah, having Shadow Long will make things just a lot more um, bearable, especially if it's just for three thousand gil to, you know, higher. Ooh, Rock Wasp, Iron Fist. That's interesting. I still have a crap ton of ninja stars for him to be able to throw, so like I'm I'm pretty sparse with those anyway, so like I'm not too awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, he is going to just randomly up and leave the party. Okay. This must be Gidor here. Ooh! Stole a high potion. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. I'll definitely take that. Thank you. Well, that was, that was not too bad at all. It took only about, like, two minutes to reach this this town. So, G-Door. Awesome. That's cool. 2,611 chill from that. This is G-Door, the westernmost town on the world map. And an easy town to loop in. Okay, who are you? You look interesting. All the poor people were forced out of town. I hear they built a new town in the valley between the mountains up north. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. The class divide is starkly apparent here. All the middle class families live in the southern part of town. The richer folks live up in the north. You can see one of their new enormous mansions from here. Oh. Yeah, I, I see that. I see that. The town of Zozo is nestled between the mountains to the north. It's a den of thieves and ne'er do wells. Um, so... What you would call the poor people? This is the Jidor Auction House. It's always full of wealthy aristocrats. Oh. I saw a girl bathe in light speed off toward the northern mountains. Okay. Ain't neat. Every once in a while, one of those shady kids from Zozo wanders down here looking for an easy mark. Be careful. Oh. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, so how much is it for an inn? 200 f Ugh, okay. Those folks in Zozo don't have an ounce of honesty uh, among the lot of them. Don't trust a word they say. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing next episode, because I... This is definitely an exploratory one. I already talked with you. That's the auction house. I'm going to be an opera singer when I grow up. Huh? You don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here. Okay. Cool. And yeah, this is the... The relic shop. Cool. That's what they call them here, at least. Uh... I mean, so you say, but I... 
no idea how much of that is true. Also, why is there just like a random path going into like a house that just like what? What? Like, what's the point of that? What exactly is the point of that? I don't get it. I guess I'll go inside the mansion and see what's up. Jidor, Owser's Mansion. <laughs> Owser's Mansion. You're the spitting image of Maria. Huh? Haven't you heard of her? Haven't heard of you, say? She's a famous opera singer. Okay. Yeah, this is a decent sized mansion. Seriously? It's a picture of a lovely lady. A suit of armor, it would seem. This one looks awfully familiar. Oh, God. Uh, don't, don't remind me. It appears to be a lamp. Oh. A very old painting. Of a bucket. This is a bucket. A beautiful still life of flowers. It's always as if they were alive. Ooh. A treasure chest of, on canvas. A picture of an old urn. Yeah, this, this is, that's one interesting gallery that I am unsure if it's like, yep, nothing, nothing there. Even though there's like some random railing here. So I guess our destination's up north. I would assume in this like town of Zozo, if like the individuals around this town keep asking about it. I'll keep telling us about it. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily we're asking. We're just... Yeah, it just happened to be the case. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well... Anywho. Uh, I actually do want to see, like... There's, like, any weapons of note in this, uh... Ooh. Nope. Kodachi, a moon ring blade, flame scroll, ring scroll, and the shadow scroll. Yep. Using the throw command, I assume. Nice. Okay, so it's just mainly, that's mainly for ninja items stock. It's good to know. Uh, And of course, the armor here, Mithril so Twist Headband, Mithril Vest, Ninja Gear, and the white dress. Ooh. I might need to go grind a little bit, to be quite Yeah, I might need to go grind. I'm probably going to have to go grind. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go grind. Well, anyways, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Um... I will see you in the next video where hopefully we can figure out where the heck Terra went off to after changing to this Esper-like creature. Um, I will see you in the next video. If you like what you saw, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up to tell the algorithm that, hey, this stuff is worth watching because I am trying to build a subscriber base of at least a thousand and every little bit of support helps. I appreciate every single one of you who can lend yourself just even a subscriber. You don't have to watch my videos. just. Just have to push that subscribe button and hopefully hopefully with you know what i'm trying to do i'm able to like you know create a place that's you know a little bit more accepting of neurodivergent individuals just give them a place on here on this platform to really be themselves without really like having to put on like any sort of like arbitrary mask uh and hopefully i hopefully with whatever like comes from this channel i'm hoping to maybe start earning something from this channel. It's just like, you know, allowing for like, various like kinds of like money to, you know, get, you know, funneled into like, uh, you know, places of note that would allow for like, the greater inclusion of neurodiverse individuals and other marginalized people. So uh, I really do hope to do that with this channel if it ever gets up off the ground. Uh, thank you all for the support. I will see you in the next video. As always, take care and yeah, see ya.